One year after the Wyoming Game and Fish Commission approval of a regulation authorizing individuals to legally collect road-killed wildlife from Wyoming's highways, over 625 permits have been received by the public, although some reports have been received about people collecting roadkill illegally without permission. Authorization is easily granted through an app developed by the Wyoming Game and Fish and Wyoming Department of Transportation. It's included in the Wyoming 511 app. As of January 10th, 628 permits were issued. A breakdown of numbers shows permits were given for 115 antelope, 412 deer, and 69 elk. Wyoming Game and Fish Department Law Enforcement Coordinator Aaron Kerr says the new regulation has been welcomed by the public, but there have also been a handful of citations and warnings issued too. And if you look at our case reports from our game wardens, uh, there are there's a handful of citations and warnings that have been issued for that um, for illegal collection of, of roadkill, either folks picking them up without the permit or, you know, not following the rules uh, once they do have the permit, not removing the whole carcass as necessary, just, you know, uh, getting a permit and then maybe just taking the head or a back strap or something like that. Only wild bison, deer, elk, antelope, moose, and wild turkey can be collected. Carcasses must be removed in their entirety, both edible and inedible portions. Wildlife cannot be collected on interstate highways, active construction or maintenance zones, or on any roads in national parks. Field dressing on roadsides is prohibited. Meat cannot be donated to nonprofits. Permission to collect roadkill is only valid for unintentional motor vehicle collisions. Interestingly, 31 moose and one wild bison were also claimed by motorists. The roadkill app bypasses the need to contact game wardens or other department personnel to collect roadkilled wildlife. Authorization is granted through using the 511 app or by going to either the Game and Fish or YDOT websites. Applicants may be asked to present the animal for inspection upon request. No one is authorized to euthanize an injured animal under the regulations. Submitting false information is a violation and could mean a fine of up to $1,000 and six months in jail. The app is available on both Android and Apple devices. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.